How's it going everybody? I got something pretty exciting that just came in the mail today. Now I lined up all my vehicles out here because I love vehicles. I've had lots of trucks, lots of different types of vehicles and I'll, I like anything that I can ride around on. So let's take a tour of vehicles and then I'm going to show you what I just got that's going to help improve my fishing quality. Hopefully at least have some fun on it. Starting on the low end, we got the Mongoose bicycle, 29 inch. I don't know how many speed it is. We got the Husqvarna mower that I barely could get started to ride over here. We got the little mini bike. I've had this thing for like seven years, never changed the oil, and now it won't start. Um, probably need to change, clean the carburetor out. Just a good little fun bike. I've rode that thing all over the place. I got a new S10, or actually it's a Sonoma. I traded it off my dad. You may not have seen it in videos. I put new tires on it. I painted the wheels. I've been doing some messing around. I got some little more tinkering to do. Got my 89 Silverado, longest vehicle I've ever had. I had it for a long time and I love it. And then I got my 2019 Dodge Ram that I'm still paying payments on. Everything else is paid off. And this right here, of course, got payments on it and it's filthy. And I'll drive it all over the place, just across 70,000 miles. So I just got something new that I have to put together, I think, and we're testing it out and hopefully we're going to use it to go catch some fish today. So where is it? We're about to find out. So here it is, my first ever one of these right behind this truck. So let's move that truck. I am now an electric vehicle owner. That's right, welcome an EV to the family of all these motorized and one man powered vehicle. This is just what I was needing. A little electric bike to ride around to go wherever I wanna go. This is a Hemiway and it's, uh, I've been actually, I've been watching a lot of electric vehicle bikes cause I just thought they're so interesting and they're getting real popular. And then they said, hey, we wanna send you one to try out. And I was like, that's awesome. Cause I love things like that. It's supposed to go up to like 50 miles. So I gotta get it out of the box, unbox it, open it up and um put it make sure everything goes together and then we're gonna go through it and i really do think that it's gonna be something i'm gonna use to do i already got a couple ideas where i'm gonna use it where it would be coming handy but first off i don't know what kind of power it has like will it take me up hills how fast will it go and uh, i'm sure you're excited about seeing it too and if you're not then oh well but i'm excited about trying it out so i'm gonna get it together and let's go test it out not too heavy all-terrain electric fat bike these are the ones that has um if you've been looking them up or nothing about them they got ones that have like fat tires and they're made for like going through sand and on the road and off the road and uh, like on little trails and stuff This thing is pretty cool. And I was going down that hill over there, 26 miles an hour. Coming back up the hill, I slowed down to about 10 or 11. And this uh, cold air has got me coughing. But as cruising, like just steady, it'll do 25. It was doing 25 miles an hour, cruising steady. So um, I've already gone one point, well, it said 0.4 miles on it. So let's take a look at this odometer. It says uh, it's, I've gone 1.1 miles an hour. It tells me how many miles an hour. It tells me my battery. Um, you can change gears and pedal. So when I was coming up the hill, I was pedaling while powering and that really helped out. All right, it's on. I'm going down the road and hopefully it's warm enough that some of the fish are gonna be active. Okay, we got a little bit of battery life. Hoping, hope it reads on that, I'm not sure. Shows me how my battery. Oh yeah, we're ready to go, let's go, hello. I couldn't put this fishing pole in my backpack, I guess, but I'll just hang on to it since it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Oh, whoa. Hey, we're off. <laughs> the cruise is down these hills. 25 miles an hour. Brakes work pretty good too. All right. Oh, nobody's on the road. Boom. 
cruise on over to our fishing hole. And here we go. Oh, oh, I see. Oh man, I see a lot of fish. My little hole here is loaded. This is a ditch that I have fished a few times. It like collects water from a few holes and it goes over there to a little bit bigger creek. Goes out that way. I'm gonna put my polarized glasses and see if we can take a look. Yep. You can see those fish sitting in there. There's a, and then I guess it gets pretty warm right there. I didn't think they'd be the second. It's only like 45 out today. Let's see if we can catch something. Kind of windy and noisy. And I got just a little bitty jig head. I don't know if I'll be able to get it casted in there. I think they just saw me. Ah. Oh, I got snagged. Of course I got snagged on the first cast. The wind caught it. Man. Dude, there's a ton of fish in there. They just disappear up into the weeds when I walk up. So I don't know now if we're gonna catch any. Let's see if there's any that aren't too spooked. Maybe let's go up there. Let's see if this bike will go through the grass. Oh, wow. It rolls right through the grass, these big tires. <laughs> it scoots right on over here. Well, uh, there is. There was a few in there, but in the summertime, they'll be a lot more active. But the thing is, now that I got this electric bike, I can go a lot further, and I know there's another creek down that way. Let's go find it. I'm not sure how many miles it is. Probably a couple miles, but this, this road's got a good spot to ride on the side of the road. I should be able to ride right on down up to it. Kickstand up. Let's get over here. Oh, nobody's coming. I might have to paddle a little bit. Oh yeah, actually paddling really helps out. Let's put it on a, let's see here, higher gear. That way, oh man, when I paddle it, it makes a huge difference. Pretty sure I'm allowed to ride this down the road. It looks just like a regular bike when I'm paddling. This bike's pretty heavy. You wouldn't want to paddle it without the electric. But with the electric, I'm going 20 miles an hour, no problem. It's like a scoots. All right, I saw this creek the other day had got stopped up from beavers, it looks like. There should be some fish in it. If they've, uh, if they're just moving around a little bit. Yeah, this creek's backed up a little bit. I thought there'd be some fish swimming around. Maybe there's some under the bridge. I know it's still cold and a lot of my creeks are just not, have not gotten very active. There's a few fish swimming around. Well, it didn't pay out today, but now that there's actually a really good tee pole, like it used to be two, three years ago. And um, they fish used to really stack up in here. So it's three, four feet deep now. Hopefully um, this summer it'll get real active in here. So good little scouting area. Wasn't wasted coming down here. Keep going. Alright, that's pretty it. So down to 10 at the top of the hill. Oh yeah, we made it. Ooh Boom. Well, maybe not no fish caught today, but one last test for the bike is ride it to basketball practice. I charged it up for a little while, didn't get it full charged, but it should be enough to get me there and back, then I'll put it back on charge tonight.
electric bike. I had a ride around. I'm getting out of practice here. Ooh. My, uh, kind of dark. I'm gonna cut through this field here and I'm gonna head to my sister's house, which is not very far away. I think I got enough battery life to make it there. She has supper, so we're gonna go hopefully get there. Ooh, this thing rides through grass. Nice. I don't know if I got a chance to charge the battery good tonight. It got really low on the way here. I've gone a total of 14 miles. Um, and I barely, I didn't even hardly charge the battery at all. So whenever I get a full battery, you ought to go really far. For right now, I'm going to go eat. Thanks for watching. Make it subscribe, <laughs> like, anything. No, I got no. They're going to help. Well, yesterday I didn't catch any fish. And I was going to end the video, but I'm going to cut out a bunch of stuff that I did yesterday. Kind of running around. And as you can see, I can just throw this bike in the back of the truck and um, and I brought it up to a place where I really wanted to use it to get to a fishing hole. And I think I might be able to catch some fish. And if I don't catch any fish here, here I got another place, but also I wanna see if it'll pull me back up the hill. So I'm gonna go down this hill and then um, ride it back up because you can't get um, a, a vehicle down here. So you can, you can take a bike down it. So I'm gonna load this up, a couple of fishing poles. I'm gonna go down here and check it out. check this out that's right we are high quality all right let's head down the road to the river i think it's gonna hold i don't have to worry about holding those rods and we're not going off-roading let's turn this dude on oh we ready to go let's get it <laughs> downhill's not gonna be the problem coming back uphill is what we're gonna I really want to see how well it does. And I think it will. It doesn't, it ain't that steep. This is the place where I saw that bear. And uh, I'll, I don't think I've been back since, but I want to have something where I can ride up out of here a little bit easier. So, right now, it's gonna be smooth as butter. Oh yeah. And I'll get down there a lot faster than even a regular bike. All right, we're down below the dam that I wanted to get to. The water's up higher than I thought it would be. Well, 
Well, the fishing turned out not to be successful, but the bike was. I went all the way up the hill. It was about a mile and a half uphill the whole way um, without pedaling. I only used the power of the bike and I don't think I went below 12 miles an hour. I was averaging about 15 miles an hour. It dropped a uh, whole battery little meter, but that's a lot of strain on that thing, going uphill nonstop, like under a full load um, with me on it. I'm 220 pounds with another 20 pounds or so of weight. The capacity on it is 350 pounds, but going uphill is not what it's designed to do. And that thing actually went up it pretty easy. I'll definitely be back in the summer when it's 90 degrees and I know I have a nice easy ride coming back up. But we're not finished. I got another pl pl uh, place that's really close to this kind of place where you can only get a bike in and out and it's uphill also uh, coming back up. And we might be able to catch a fish there. So I'm heading there now. All right, round two. I think this place has a little more chance of fish for some reason, I feel like it. Let's go get some fish. This runs flowing pretty good too, but there might be something down there. Start out with the crawl. Pretty fine little bike. Well, hey guys, thanks for watching to the end. And I hate to end a video without catching fish. I tried really hard. I probably cut out a bunch of places. I, I, took, I rode this bike from my house to two creeks. Didn't catch anything. Um, took it uh, down two places that I really wanted to go. And it went, um, of course, down the hill easy. And it actually took me all the way back up the hill. One of them I had to pedal a little bit. It was a real steep hill. And the first one, I didn't pedal at all because I wanted to try it out. It was a mile and a half uphill the whole way, and it took me the whole way up it. Um, I, it's not, I would have to say this bike is not designed for uphill travel. It actually goes really good through grass, and um, I, I want to try it on some sand. I want to like, take it to Florida. So I can throw it right in the back of my truck easy, take it somewhere, throw it out. I have that uh, crate. This is a crate that I use for my kayak. And um, I just put it on the back and zip tied or, and bungee strapped it down. And it was perfect for holding my rods. I'm definitely using this more. I just want to say thank you to Hemiway for making me have a fun day, even though I wasn't catching fish. Yesterday and today I had fun riding around and I rode to basketball practice, and uh, which is only about three miles away. And then I just got done riding it around about a three and a half mile loop and I got 25 total miles on it. I can see this thing going uh, really far. I didn't do a long distance because everywhere I, I live in East Tennessee, it, everything's up and down. And I'm going downhills and I'm going straight uphills. And that really puts a, a wear on anything, especially a battery powered bike. So it's probably not the perfect area for this. But when I go to flatter areas or if I go in town and uh, maybe on the Greenway or something like that and ride around, I can, I can fish up and down it all day. And this thing will work perfect. Those fat tires roll right over everything. It's a comfortable ride. I got a, I have my seat in the loading that rides a little higher. Got headlights, it's got tail lights. The grips are comfortable. Everything about this bike is actually really comfortable. And um, I, I had fun with it and I'm gonna use it some more. I gotta find a place to store it. I've been a little low on putting out videos and um, Hemiway asked me to, if I wanted to try it out. And I've been looking at electric bikes for a while. I, I think bikes, any kind of thing that you can ride or drive is I love. And I'm definitely gonna use this more. And I'm actually looking into um, maybe some like uh, enduro bike or something like that. I would love, if anybody wants to send one of those, love to try it out. But I'm not sure how to give a rating on an overall rating. Um, I've never had an electric bike before. I've had mountain bikes, stuff like that. But for what this costs, I think it's like $1,500 or $1,600. You can do a lot with it, and I'm gonna use it a lot. Um, it's not a 
fishing thing, but it's going to help me do fishing. And um, I had fun riding around today. And this summer, when it's warm, I can ride. There's a couple of creeks that are within three or four miles. That is nothing to go there and come back, even though they are up and down hills. And I'm probably going to, you know, on a full charge, take on longer trips, stuff like that. So I got a link below and um, everything for if you want any information on that. Sorry, I didn't get no fish. Definitely going to try to get some tomorrow. I'm going kayaking and a lake tomorrow so hopefully that turns out and um, I'm sure you'll be seeing this in some more videos so thanks for watching